Hello and welcome back to Adventures in Pop-Ups. This is the place you come for tips, tricks, hacks, and mods to make your camping adventures more fun, more awesome. Well, today we have some more tips and tricks. And today yeah. we're talking about, you guessed it, camper storage. So I feel like this is the biggest conundrum. The wonderful thing about pop-up campers is that you have all this great space to enjoy the outdoors inside itty bitty traveling space, right? So how do, where do you put all your stuff? So that's what we're gonna talk about. Talk about different ideas, different ways to make it all fit, to make it usable, to optimize your storage and your space. What's number one? Well, optimizing your storage in a pop-up camper is essential to maximizing all of your space so you can put your things in places and not just have everything everywhere. You wanna have some kind of system or method and places to put things. So we'll go over a few things that we do and a few other ideas that we thought might be good. Yeah. Uh, well, number one, hanging shelves. We've got a couple of those. Yeah, so, you know, it folds down when you're traveling, but you wanna go vertical anytime that you can. Um, I've seen so many great things. We actually, in this camper, it came with a hanging thing um, that you, <laughs> excuse our chickens anytime throughout this video, thank you. We have this cool thing that will drop on the screen and it hooks into the ceiling. A lot of people are like, hey, what are these hooks? What are these loops for? That's what it's for. If you don't have one and you want one, it's on Amazon. Or if yours was supposed to come one, but it was secondhand, you can get it on Amazon. We'll drop a link to some nice ones. Also, something that we absolutely love is hanging shoe racks. We've used these, we, I, in our last camper, we organized a whole weird shaped cabinet. It gets things visible, it gets things vertical, instead of just throwing it in a heap. And then, then in our bathroom, we have the other half of the shoe rack, and we have all our stuff for the bathroom that we need. And it really helps. It really helps to know where to put stuff, to be able to see where you put stuff, to have less kids asking you, where's the toothbrushes? Well, it's right there in a clear case. Pretty easy case. to find in the so, bathroom, ha hanging up on the wall. Anytime you can use any kind of hook, a rack, you want somewhere to hang your keys, somewhere to you know put those important things. Um, I've seen entire shelving systems that people put, and maybe I'm getting ahead of myself, but there's people that do um, over the sink. You can buy it on Amazon, of course, Walmart everywhere. Um, like a, It's like a dish drying station. It gets stuff vertical. And then when it's time to travel, you just take it down. <clears throat> there you go. Yep. Yep. And uh, so, yeah, that's hanging vertical storage, hanging, hanging shelves, hooks, and racks. Uh, under the seat storage, that's going to be your most common go-to storage spot because it's a dedicated storage thing. Right. Uh, you've got your shelves or you got your bins and then, well, we, we've done bins a lot yeah, in, inside. We do a lot of bins. So this is what we do. Um, basically, number one, if you're a ding-dong like me using a suitcase, stop, just stop. Because the first time we went, I had suitcases, I don't know what I was thinking. And I had to like open the bench and then I had to open the suitcase within the bench while the bench was propped open on my head or something, you know. What am I thinking? So this is what we do. Find bins that fit in your benches. I was actually just experimenting with this because we have a different camper this year. Um, let me just give you this hack right now. It's fit for multiple ones of our campers. Chiquita banana boxes from Aldi or oh, wherever. Yeah. They fit perfect. They have no lid so your lid's not slowing you down. And they just, they keep their shape. If anything happens to them, uh, they were free. Grab, and, grab you a new one, get some bananas. Um, also the clear bins seem to be fitting really well. Anyhow, so we put our clothes in boxes, open boxes and bins in the benches. Mm -hmm. And that makes it easy. Then when, when it's time to pack, you pack the bin, come out, put it in the bench. You're good to go. When you're done camping, pull it. You're good to go. Yeah. Um, what was the other thing? So yeah, you can put clothing, shoes and bins, um, uh, blankets, obviously, tools. Uh, you're probably gonna have uh, a decent amount of hand tools or whatnot just to uh, you know, do repairs or whatever that may be needed. 
So uh, you'll probably have a bin for that and a storage area for that. I will say with our tool bin uh, set up and different things like that, um, I do have bins with lids because that way when it's all in the same thing and we're like, where's the stuff we need for setup? I'm, I'm looking through bins, you know, so they have lids so that we can hopefully keep it all together. We also use bins for all our eating supplies. I call it the picnic basket, even though it's just a Dollar Tree bin, but it's in the cabinet right across the door so that when we're camping, if we're eating outside, which we prefer to do, which somebody just goes and opens it, grabs the whole bin, brings it outside, and it's got our plates and our forks and a steak knife and all salt and pepper, you know. It's got it all. Everything, hopefully, that you need sometimes, is right there. Sometimes the condiments make it in there. Yeah, and also we have a bin that goes behind it, not that that matters, um, of outdoor toys. We have a bin of indoor toys, like um, card games, games and whatnot. Yeah. So um, keep stuff in bins. It really does help, especially if you have to do any digging, you can just grab the whole bin, rearrange whatever you need to do. Move it out of the way, move it to the back. Okay, so uh, magnet strips and Velcro. Yeah, we actually have Velcro on this camper by the front door. I'm wondering about that. I'm thinking maybe we should do a Velcro keychain solution. Hmm. Um, let me know your guys' ideas if you've used Velcro or magnets because there's lots of great ideas. Funny story though, I've seen people, you know what I'm going to say, don't no, you? I, don't I have one over here. I saw this great idea online uh -huh. and somebody had really strong hook magnets and they hung stuff from the ceiling. Oh yeah! Oh, it works on those. <laughs> um, hook a lantern there. I was going to hook stuff from the ceiling because somebody posted how great that was. I bought them. I didn't even think to test and see if our ceiling really was strong. magnetic. Really it's magnetic. not. Let's see if this one is. <laughs> so there you have it. This camper also does not have a magnetic ceiling. I don't know how somebody did that, but they do come in handy in a lot of other places wherever you have bars and things, you can use magnets. Great hook for a lantern for your uh, J-hooks over your beds and over your thing. But, uh, if, you, if you have a fancy lantern that you know has flickering flames and stuff, we do. Okay, spice racks. I've actually seen people do spice racks with magnets. Um, and they're, wherever their camping kitchen deal is, they have magnets and then there's magnets on the spices and you can pop them up there. What I do for spices though, I have minis, a little salt and a little pepper, and then I actually reuse those little four packs of spice mixes that you can buy. I put my favorite spice mixes in there. It's kind of a pain in the butt, but it's ready to go when you need it. So like we've done a taco compartment, um, what's the word? Chicken curry, a curry compartment, uh, whatever. I'm sure it's probably dropped on the screen by now. So that's something that we do for spices to conserve on space. You don't actually have to have a lot of stuff. And in fact, if you pre-make a lot of meals, how we like to do, you don't need your whole kitchen full of spices in the first place because you've already prepped at home to make camping, say it with me, less work and more fun. Yeah. And another way to optimize your storage space is to use things that are collapsible, like collapsible kitchenware. So measuring cups or things that fold inside of themselves, bowls, that sort of thing, cups. Uh, they're great for traveling and backpacking as well. So if you're eating on the run, we do that a lot, pack lunch. Uh, you know, it doesn't take up as much space if you want to carry other things. Yeah, so a couple of collapsible things that we have that I love. Uh, well, number one is our dog, dog water. Dog bowl water. It, we just hook it on the backpack. It pops up to if we're out hiking and then she needs some water. There you go. The other main thing, which I did buy from Aldi, but I'll do the Amazon link in case it's, you know, it only comes out once a year, right? Is a dish dryer. So we have a double wall sink, but even then we might want it outside or we have like, it's like having a whole nother sink next to our sink. So we'll do the dishes, and but it's a pop-up. So it stores away nice. Multi-purpose furniture. Everything camping should be multi-purpose as best bed, as you can. Bed or benches with built-in storage. So yeah, that's kind of a no-brainer for pop-ups. You know, we've got a sofa that's also a bed. We've got a dinette that's also a bed. You can do that with other furniture as well. Um, your outdoor chairs, your outdoor tables, 
you might be sitting on a cooler, that kind of thing. So any way you can reuse stuff, it, it'll save on stuff. Closet and clothing storage, hanging organizers and vacuum sealed bags. I have seen, okay, so we have four kids. We don't have an extra bunk end, but I've seen people turn their other bunk end into like a closet. I've seen people hang, you know those hanging, this goes back to the vertical storage. Or a dog bunk. A do or a dog bunk. bunk. Uh, the vertical storage, you know those sweater hangers and all those hanging things for closets. You can hang them on your shepherd's hooks if no one's sleeping there and just have yourself a closet. Vacuum sealed oh, bags. Oh, vacuum sealed. Um, we have used vacuum seal bags a little bit, but not really not camping. camping. Although mm -hmm. I will, if we're packing blankets or something, I'll put it in like a giant Ziploc or vacuum seal and sit on it if, if I'm not. Yeah, I would recommend, you know, having extra blankets or sheets and stuff if you're tent camping and going to a possibly rainy situation. That's true. <laughs> you, you might want to have some extras stored away in your vehicle. Vacuum seal, maybe, perhaps. Well, the nice thing about that is it sucks all the air out and go. Right, right. Bathroom storage, shower caddies, over the top, over the door organizers, and like we already said, with the vertical storage, yes. your shoe organizers, where you hook that in, or half of one, because you put half of it in a cabinet to help organize all your stuff in there. Yeah, and we do also have a bin of stuff, and what that mostly has is our, I call them shower packs, and we have multiple ones so that if you're showering at the shower house, because I don't really want to use this shower even though we have one, um, we just got a cute little thing with the travel shampoo, travel conditioner, a little uh, loofah, whatever, you know, just all the essentials boiled down into one. We have multiples because the first couple times we went camping, I had one bathroom pack and we got six people and that didn't work out very well. The boys took a turn showering. Then the girls took a turn showering, sharing all the stuff. So now we've got shower packs for everybody. They go in the bin. Under bed storage. Well, we, we have used under our bunk storage, like, you know, but that's more for scooters and chairs and keep yeah. things out of the weather, try and, uh, you know, the cooler. Sometimes it's best to bring the cooler in or the dog food in so the raccoons don't wake you up at 3, 4 in the morning. Yes, been there, done There's that. There's a little tip for you. One thing we do with under the bunk ends if it's really hot out, we typically use our cooler, we leave it in the tow vehicle. But if it's really hot out and we're hanging around the campsite, I'll usually put it in the shade under the bunk, bunk end so it's not as hot as a vehicle. Um, and we do also put scooters up. We put, um, you know, your bin of firewoods, um, camp, what am I saying? Uh -huh. Your campfire and starters and all that. We tuck it under the bunk end. If it's get starting to rain, we roll up the mat or whatever, throw it under the bunk end. Well, you know, there's the under the bed storage. So you could use one of those for like your uh, shoes. We tend to a lot of times leave shoes or Crocs or sandals outside. People say don't leave your shoes outside because the snake will go in there or whatever. We're usually not in a poisonous snake territory. So we're usually not too worried about that. But yeah, spiders are no fun too. Um, but that's an idea. If you have under the bed storage container, you can put all your shoes into a, instead of just throwing them all under there and then they're going to stink less too if you have them in a, uh, a tub or bin container. That was another idea. Under bed storage. Uh, I was thinking like under the table when the uh, table is yes. brought down. So, uh, a way to lower the stink from the shoes and have them all put together and not just everywhere because they tend to go everywhere right yes try to keep it in the bin bring the bin outside during the day and in at night uh something we've seen but we've not done is people have had peg boards and uh with hooks and stuff to you know hang uh, pots and pans and other cups and different things from uh, just a way to you know store things and then other way outdoor boxes, storage bike racks Bike racks are nice. We actually do have one now and don't know how to use it yet. Not too complicated. Um, just make good use of your outdoor storage boxes. So we already alluded to having a firewood box, um, which we tuck under the bunk ends typically. Um, we keep stuff in our tow vehicle in bins so that we can just kind of rifle through a dry goods bin and a cooler and whatever else you have. Um, we keep it up though. Keep it in the 
in the tow vehicle to keep stuff out of the way as much as possible. Yeah, and our first camper had a exterior front storage bin. Yeah. Which, you know, probably could have used a lot more organization to it. I think that's your key is trying to organize it the best way you can, figure out a system for it. That way it's a lot easier to get to stuff, to find things. Um, and you know, you got like your hose and your jack, different things in different areas. Easier to get to, you're not getting everything wet, that sort of thing. Food and pantry storage, stackable bins and clear containers. Yeah, clear containers is a really good point, especially for food. Hello, especially, especially for food, it's nice to have those clear bins because you can see before you even get, you know, you're digging for stuff and you can see right where it is. So we like to have stackable bins, clear bins, see what you got in there. And we like having like a big uh, food bin, dry good, dry bin good, what do you call it? <laughs> dry goods bin. Dry goods bin. We like having one of those, usually in the truck, and someone just runs out there to grab whatever we need. Yeah, I typically, especially the snacks, keep the snacks out of the way before you eat them all in the first day. Hidden. And um, we'll just go out there maybe once or twice a day and be like, okay, this is what I need for dinner. And it's not that difficult. Or I'll go grab snacks for everyone. Or that. Mm-hmm. Something else that you can do uh, under the pop-ups, I guess we didn't mention, we use a pop-up laundry bin. And we actually, I actually leave it like collapsed or whatever for the first day or two. And then as we have more laundry, I'll like undo the Velcro. And we typically have it under the dinette. Um, it's just out of sight that way. And if we're on a long trip, uh, we'll put it in the tow vehicle. Some people do that all the time actually to keep the stink out. Some people actually have a whole changing tent. Uh, that seems excessive to me. So that's a lot of tips and a lot of suggestions. I would love to hear your tips and suggestions because you guys are amazing. Hello. Let us know what you guys have done. Um, I will say this, this is my absolute top tip for all storage solutions. It is don't bring so much stuff. <laughs> Can I tell you that? You don't need all the tips and all the gadgets. You probably don't need like a whole coffee maker. Lots Just get a little French press or whatever. Think how to downsize stuff. You don't have to have an outfit for every day. You can re-wear something once in a while. I'm just saying there's laundry most places. So try to... Try to cut down on what you bring. That is the number one thing. If you find yourself not knowing where to put stuff, yes, we all need systems, we need bins, all the things we just mentioned, but also we probably need to bring less stuff. And if you legit have too many people fitting in your camper, maybe you need a high wall. I'm just saying, they're awesome. We will, I do wanna do a video talking about the difference between regular pop-up and high wall, because we love us a high wall. Well, there you have it optimizing your storage space solutions tips tricks don't forget help us out with your favorite tip or trick because i'm sure there's some things we missed right uh so we want to hear how to make this place the most organized less stressful environment as we can for our upcoming trips so oh one more thing i meant to say i don't want to make it sound like we are like you know, everything is in its place and it's pristine all the time. No, 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 we're camping. But if everything has a place, you have a lot better chance to get stuff put away, to know where stuff is. So, I mean, we are not Nazis about put it away, put it away. Organize and clean, organize and clean. Uh, you know, our camping photos, we are a real life family. We don't have like a pristine camper all the time. But if you know, have your storage solutions worked out, then you can feel like you know what you're doing. I mean, we like to sweep and clean the counters. Oh, yeah. At least, you know, a couple, times, a couple times a day. But uh, that's my main thing. Okay. Well, uh, don't forget to put your favorite tip in there in the comments, and we'll see you out there camping, guys. Happy camping.